have come aboard. Their speed and high altitude performance are what a carrier needs to stay in business in modern combat. The period of warning keeps getting shorter. Jets alone have the capacity to meet today's sudden emergencies and grasp fleeting opportunities when seconds count in place of minutes. But to make this swiftness pay off in the air, you must be swift on deck. And jets are different. They must be handled differently through the whole cycle of operations. Even though the cycle itself is not greatly different from that of conventional planes. Here's the way it goes. You'll recognize the pattern. The conventional planes may take off before or after the jets, according to operational requirements. In either case, when you start positioning jets on the cats, you will follow a pattern which depends on the deck spot. One typical deck spot may have the jets forward and outboard to port. Conventionals inboard and aft. Jets are catapulted in pairs with as short an interval as possible between planes. Because of the way they use fuel down below, they must rendezvous fast upstairs where a jet has a chance to use its fuel to good purpose. Returning jets make a longer approach than conventional planes because they're closing in faster and can see better in the straightaway. The pilots can line up with the deck, wings level. Conventional planes can almost reach the fantail before being waved off. Jets take a cut sooner, hence are committed to a landing sooner than conventionals, and they hit the deck flatter at engagement speeds half again higher than conventionals and flying all the way. Your carrier will be pouring on speed when the jets come in to create 45 knots of wind down the deck if possible. But your jets will still engage the pendants at 80 knots or better. And back home, that's close to 100 miles an hour. Fast handling and a clear deck are especially important during landing operations. Because at sea level, a jet gulps fuel about as fast as you could pour it out of a bucket. It has no time to wait around outside. Returning from a mission, it will have fuel for two passes at the most, maybe only one, and then it's into the drink. A half million dollars, maybe without even a bullet hole, gone for nothing. Worse than that, even with the pilot safe and sound, there goes a good chunk of your striking power. The cycle is faster, it isn't harder. Veteran jet crews and pilots alike say that jets are safer and better to handle than conventional planes in most phases of carrier operation, mainly because they have no props. But jets are also different in other ways, and they must be handled differently on deck in behalf of the plane itself, the ship, other people aboard, and you. That's the purpose of this film, to teach you jet differences and how they affect the six basic deck handling functions which are your part of the swift cycle of carrier jet operations. First, roll jet planes without rocking them. And there's a difference. They're not as stable as conventionals. Second, secure parked jets against wind and weather. Delicate balance, exposed engines, two more important differences. Three, assist taxiing jets without accidents. No props. The hazards are different. Four, catapult jet planes in pairs if possible. And watch the landing gear. It's different. Five, help jets land almost nose to tail. The speed is different and the urgency is greater. Six, service jet planes. With folded wings, even the fuel tanks are different. 